Seven officials of the World Health Organization, WHO, have been dispatched to Kano to help unravel the cause or causes of the recent mysterious deaths in the state, which some have linked to the ravaging COVID-19 pandemic. They are joined on the assignment by 12 Nigerian experts. The Presidential Tax Force PTF on COVID-19 disclosed this during a press briefing in Abuja on Thursday, April 23. Kano State's situation is not a simple thing to manage, said Director General of the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, Dr. Chikwe Iyekwazo, during the press briefing. On his part, PTF National Coordinator Dr. Sani Ali said additional laboratory apartments had been developed to help the states. These include at least 17 persons, including seven from the World Health Organization, WHO, to Kano to deal with the current issues that have arisen, he said. Kano had only 21 COVID-19 cases as of April 17. The figure jumped to 73 in less than a week. Besides the coronavirus cases, there were reports of mass strange deaths in the state where an estimated 152 people were reported buried in different cemeteries within three days last weekend. The PTF is investigating the deaths which the state government has however denied. The PTF coordinator said the DG NCDC has asked the State Emergency Operating Committee to reorganize the way it functions and a joint team from the state government is currently investigating the concerns with regards to the deaths. Concerning the situation in Kano State, the NCDC boss said, we need time. We have reports that there have been deaths. Our first line of action is to verify if it is true and what will be our next line of action if that is the case. We have a team that is working with the government of Kano State to verify the incident and make sure that what is going on is actually what is being reported. Then we will carry out control measures and see if it is an infectious disease, COVID-19 or something else. Unlike Lagos that has a gradual increase in cases, the cases are really increasing rapidly in Kano State. Kano State's situation is not a very simple thing to manage. We are working with them to increase the organizational efficiency of response. Also, the treatment center in Kano State have a capacity of about 300. On his part, PTF chairman, Mr. Boss Mustafa, explained that the situation in Kano is still being assessed and monitored closely. Based on preliminary findings, the PTF has directed the NCDC to send an enhanced support team mobilize resources for contact tracing and immediately ensure that necessary steps are taken in conjunction with state government to contain the spread of the pandemic in Kano and stop the city from becoming the next epicenter. Nigeria is currently faced with over 981 active confirmed cases with about 31 deaths. Worldwide, COVID-19 has infected over 2.7 million persons and claimed over 190,000 lives. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy reporting for News Express Nigeria Television.